This video illustrates how to draw the polygon when you're given a system of inequalities for optimization. In this example, we have our non-zero constraints up here in red, and we have three other constraint inequalities. We're going to graph them, and we're going to shade all of them and identify the polygon. Now graphing skills are taught elsewhere in this website. If you go to the Straight Lines 1 section of the website and click on graphing skills, you will see an illustration of how to graph a straight line. Therefore, for this optimization problem, we're going to use some shortcuts and we're going to do the graphing quickly. The first constraint that we have to graph is x greater than or equal to 50. We pretend it's an equal sign, x equals 50. And if x equals 50, then x is always 50. So I can fill in the x side of my table with 50s. For the y side of the table, I can use any numbers I want. So I'm going to choose 0, 50, and 100. For the second constraint that we have to graph, x plus y less than or equal to 100, we will also use a shortcut. We pretend it's an, it's an equal sign, x plus y equals 100. This just means any two numbers that add up to equal 100 will make a valid coordinate pair. So if I use 0 and 100, those two numbers add up to 100. 100, 0 is another point where the two numbers add up to 100 and 50-50 will be my third point. The last constraint inequality is x greater than or equal to 2y. Again, we pretend it's an equals, x equals 2y. What that means in English language is x is twice as big as y. This style of equation will always have the point 0, 0. And then, for the rest of my points, I just have to choose pairs of numbers where x is twice as big as y. So how about 50 is twice as big as 25 and 100 is twice as big as 50. So the graphing can be very fast if you use shortcuts. Now I'm going to plot the points for these lines and draw the lines. For the first inequality on the top, x greater than or equal to 50, I have the points 50, 0, 50, 50, and 50, 100. I need to draw a line through those points, which is going to be a vertical line. The second inequality, x plus y less than or equal to 100. I need dots at 0, 100. 100, 0, and 50, 50. Drawing a line through those three points connects my x and y axis at 100. Finally, x greater than or equal to 2y, I need the point 0, 0, 50, 25, and 150. And I draw a line through those three points. Now it's time to do my test point and see which side of these lines will be shaded. For the first inequality, x greater than or equal to 50, I can use the origin, 0, 0, as my test point. And if I plug 0, 0 into that equation, I get 0 is greater than or equal to 50. That is false. And false means I shade away from my test point, from the line away from the test point. That means I'm shading on the right side of this line. The second equation, 
x plus y less than or equal to 100. It also does not go through 0, 0, so I'm allowed to use the origin as my test point. And if I plug the origin into this equation, I get 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 100. This simplifies to 0 is less than or equal to 100. This is true. True means towards.